a former Russian oil tycoon is speaking out about Vladimir Putin and is claiming that the war in Ukraine has significantly reduced President Putin's ability to stay in power. His name is Mikhail Khodorkovsky. He was Russia's richest man and led the country's largest private oil company, Luke Oil, before he spent a decade in prison uh, before for charges that most observers say were completely trumped up. Now, I spoke with him with the help of our interpreter. Take a listen. Mr. Khodorkovsky, you've been fighting Vladimir Putin for the better part of 20 years. Do you think that this war, as damaging as it will be to both Ukraine and Russia, do you think it will bring the end to Putin's regime? This will depend on the outcome of the war. Uh, right now, Putin is clearly suffering a defeat, um, but he can, of course, still kill very many people. If uh, the West continues to support Ukraine, his own defeat is inevitable. Putin will always be the enemy of America. Uh, but since the start of the war, his stay, his term in power has been reduced significantly. Given how insulated he is, both socially and financially, how sensitive do you think President Putin is to all of this economic pressure brought by the West, all of these companies that are now pulling out of Russia? How much of an impact does that have? So the blow to the financial system has been enormous and um, it is uh, it is being felt. Uh, but at the moment, only 70 percent of the cash flows have been blocked. We need to block the remaining 30. If we want um, to stop Putin, we must there must be no exceptions. You have said that the West needs to step up their sanctions and bring Russia financially to its knees, even if that will hurt everyday Russians. What more do you think needs to be done to inflict that kind of pain? Uh, this isn't a question of um, uh, getting somebody down to their knees. We need to stop the war. If we want to stop the war, then all the banking, all the bank accounts of Russia must be frozen. All of Putin's bankers must be blocked. Uh, this uh, needs to stop. Uh, even if uh, I've never advocated sanctions against Russia as a whole, uh, but the financial flows need to stop. And yes, um, people will have problems. We will have problems. But these problems are incomparable to the problems of the people who are being killed and, 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 uh, and wounded. What about the oligarchs who are close to Putin? Do they have any influence, these oligarchs who have been sanctioned, who have had their assets frozen, their yachts, their planes seized? Do they have any sway, any pressure that they can put on President Putin? Those people who you call oligarchs here, um, they are just Putin's footmen. They cannot influence him. However, he can use them as, an, as, a, as a tool of influence, uh, to influence the West. Therefore, it is absolutely important to stop all of these purse holders um, of, of Putin's until the war ends. They all must be blocked, and that's the only thing that will stop the war. But if they say to him, you need to stop this war, does he listen to them? Uh, well, does a cleaner in your office, um, if, uh, to tell, if, if she tells you or he tells you how to um, host a TV program, will you listen to them? Uh, because that's all they are to Putin. They follow Putin's orders, and on Putin's orders, they can do things in the West. They have enough connections, they have enough money and enough communication um, tools. If we don't want a war, if we want to stop the war, we must put, we must try and influence these people and stop, we must block all their channels. Uh, and if you want to test as to, you know, who they are to Putin, uh, try to interview, but come up to them with a microphone and ask them, is Putin responsible for war crimes? Is what Putin doing a war crime? And judging by this person's public response, you will know who they are to Putin. So how do you think Putin could lose power? Do you think some kind of coup is possible? 
Yes, a coup is possible, and this has happened in his in Russian history before. Uh, but at the moment, Putin is able to project um, a, a, a fairly positive picture um, to the Russian population. Um, when it becomes obvious that he is losing, and this will be if the West keeps up its support for Ukraine, if the West allows a no-fly zone in Ukraine, this will save lives. Um, if if Putin uh, looks no longer a winner, if he starts losing, uh, looking like a loser, then a coup is possible. Uh, but based on the Russian history and the experience of Russian history, we may yet have to wait a few years. Hey, Mikhail Khodorkovsky, thank you so much for your thoughts and for your time today. Good luck.